So if you don't know that there's an eclipse in 2017, you've been living under a rock. Really excited about this eclipse. So ahead of that, I've never had an, a solar filter. I mean, I've known people and I've used Herschel wedges and I've used hydrogen alpha filters and Coronado sun scopes, but I've never had a sun filter of my own. And so I have a six inch Schmidt Cassegrain and I was cruising Amazon and I saw that Celestron had an eclipse filter that they'd come out with just for the 2017 eclipse. And so I bought one. And so we're gonna to talk today about the Eclipse Smart solar filter by Celestron. Now this is designed to fit on a six inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. So pretty much any of Celestron's six inch optical tubes, this will fit on. So we're gonna do some testing outside to see how this looks actually through the telescope. I'm gonna hook up the DSLR to it. We're gonna do some solar viewing with it. But let's unbox it first. So pretty basic packaging, not much to it. thing I liked about this is it's branded Celestron. Nice. So it looks like uh, really nice quality. I mean, it's obviously solar film rather than glass. So if you're looking for something a little bit more durable, it's going to last a long time, probably go with a thousand oaks. But where this is Celestron, I think it cost me 30 bucks. Pretty is pretty cheap. Um, this actually looks like my OTA cap and so they've done a really nice job decent plastic it's labeled Eclipse Smart along the top pretty nice piece of kit so let's take it outside and see what it looks like in the sun Okay, so I've set up the Nexstar 6SE, which is what we're going to put this solar filter on. Just to give you a little bit of an overview of what we've done here, I've got the DSLR set up on the 6SE, and that's using a T-ring adapter. Now I do have my focal reducer and corrector on here by Celestron. I don't know if we're going to need that. So T-ring, focal reducer, corrector, you can take that off. Now what I've done here and we'll do this in a separate video, is I've actually hooked up my Android tablet that's going to run my camera through this USB cable. I can control all the variables on the camera from an app on my, on my tablet or my smartphone. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and install our Eclipse Smart filter. As I opened this last night, I found some little Velcro strips that they'd sent with this. And I thought, what the heck are those for? And then I read the instructions, because you know, being a guy, we don't read instructions too often. And it's really a great idea. What they've done is they've given you a couple little Velcro strips. And this was always a problem with my cover here, my lens cover on my OTA. It would always fall off in my bag. And so I know why they put these on. They put these on so that while you're observing, the solar filter doesn't pop off and blind you. But I thought, man, what a great idea. And so I got a little extra Velcro and I put it on uh, my OTA, as you can see here. And then these strips come off. And this keeps my lens cover on. So you can see this looks a lot like the solar filter itself. The that I've talked to says that once the eclipse starts, don't mess around with your gear. Just start your gear, enjoy the eclipse. Once the eclipse starts, just enjoy it. Just set your gear. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Somebody's gonna catch pictures of the eclipse, so don't spend your entire time messing with gear instead of watching the eclipse. So let's go ahead and put this on. Now this, I was really surprised, this actually fits a lot tighter than my lens cover, or my uh, OTA cap. Now the Velcro is a little bit long, so we need to move this back a little bit. Okay, so now we've got the Celestron Eclipse Smart solar filter 
on the front of the Celestron Nexstar 6SE. Now Celestron's website says that this will fit any of their 6-inch Schmidt Cassegrain optical tubes. I'm assuming that it'll fit their Max Sutov Cassegrains if they still make those in 6-inch. But this probably wouldn't be appropriate for a refractor, although chances of most people having a 6-inch refractor are pretty slim to none these days. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up our Android tablet. And I've just got this on a Joby Pod. These things are awesome. I use this for everything. These Joby Pods, they attach to anything. Now what we've done here to make this work, I don't think you can do this on uh, iOS. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can't do it on iOS. But this is what's called a USB OTG connector. OTG just means on the go. And it's a protocol that allows something like a digital camera to send the signal down the cable and then into a USB connection. Well, number one, the port is the wrong size. You can't plug this into this without some type of an adapter. But also, the Android smartphone or the tablet can't recognize this raw signal. And so the OTG connector actually decodes the signal and makes it so that your Android device can use that signal coming from the phone. So what I'm going to do, and this camera, by the way, is pretty much bottom of the barrel as far as Canon SLRs go. This is the Canon T Rebel T5. Pretty basic. But that's the important thing about astronomy. You don't have to have a ton of super expensive equipment to make this stuff work. Really all you need to have is whatever equipment you have at hand and you can make most things work as long as you've got a bulb setting but we'll get that into, into that in another video. Okay so after some trial and error um, defocusing the telescope and then putting the reflection on my hand I was able to get the Sun into the viewfinder. This is a lot tougher than I thought. I mean at night it's pretty easy you just look through the scope but um, we have an image in the viewfinder right now. Probably take a still image of this. We are tracking the sun, and I'm, I'm amazed at how well this works. I mean, I'm just using my focus knob here on my Schmidt Cassegrain to bring the focus in and out. And I am amazed at how well this filter works. This is a fantastic filter, and it's gonna be great at the solar eclipse in August to be able to use this live like we're doing now to show people sunspots and things like that but also to actually take a video of the eclipse as it's happening which is going to be a lot cooler than me standing here running the equipment while the eclipse is going by okay so i'm amazed at how well this filter works i'm looking through my android tablet here we've got it hooked up to the dslr it's giving me a live feed this is just amazing i mean this is going to be cool now, not having done a lot of solar observation before, this is a new experience for me. That's going to be a new experience for a lot of people. A lot of people have telescopes, but they've never thought about using them for solar eclipses or solar viewing in general. Usually, you got to have all kinds of really expensive equipment. You know, like I said, the Herschel wedge, that's an expensive piece of equipment. Um, the Thousand Oaks glass filters, those are expensive. You get a Coronado scope, you know, which is dedicated for solar observing. That's an expensive piece of equipment. So take the, take the telescope that you already have, and if it's a Celestron, if it's a 6-inch Celestron, go ahead and use this filter. I mean, I think for the money that I paid for it, it's fantastic. Um, I did buy some Thousand Oaks film, just an 8x8 sheet and a 4x4 sheet, so that I can do the same treatment for my uh, William Optics GT81. And also, um, I'm planning on putting some, some DSLRs out just looking at the sun and putting solar filters over those as well. But I'm amazed at this. I mean, this is fantastic. Take a, take a look at the images this thing is, is showing me just with an inexpensive $30 filter. This is going to be a fantastic addition to anybody's astronomy kit to be able to view the sun during the day and then have all of your great observation sessions during the night. It just adds another dimension to how cool astronomy can be. And I guarantee when people see what you can do with this during the eclipse, they're going to be blown away. I would wholeheartedly endorse this product. Um, if you have a 6-inch optical tube by Celestron, go ahead and add this to your kit. This is a fantastic device, well worth the money. Good luck at the 2017 Eclipse this year, and look for more of our videos, and visit Redshift Astronomy for more information.